The health emergency simulation exercise is seen as a vital component of the Freetown International Airport's health defence structure. Not only is the airport seen as one of Sierra Leone's most vital assets, but at times it's also been one of the most vulnerable. So it was jointly put together by the Sierra Airport Authority, the Ministry of Health, the CDC, and IOM and the ISAT organizations came together under the supervision and the collaboration with the Sierra Civil Aviation Authority to form this screening process, and that's which we are using now. In order to improve and build on the health defence structure that we put in place, we have initiated a in-depth training programme ranging from specialist training for doctors, health professionals, hygienists, right down to classroom training for the entry and exit health screening standard operating procedures. Today's simulation exercise at the airports will be focusing on um, testing our uh, strength in handling issues of emergencies at the airport. What's wrong with you? How are you? I'm fine. 8.5. What wrong with you? There's nothing. No, absolutely. There's something wrong with you. No, nothing. Okay, well, you have to isolate yourself. And for you what? Know. Because your temperature is so how high. There's nothing for you to be afraid of. The idea is that we bring in Ebola survivors. These survivors, they act as expert patients. They run through various scenarios at the various health checkpoints that we have running throughout the airport. And the airport staff need to react to what they see on the ground. Commander, please, you can allow the officer to close that end and can so that they are not to nobody can move this. Initially, Ebola put us pants down. We want to ensure that we keep our minds updated, not only for Ebola now, but for any other threats that will emerge next tomorrow that will have the tendency of retarding the industry and the rest of the country. So to us, training is very key and we will not stop training. My body is weak. My body is weak. Please do something, my body is weak. I'm dying. As a Sierra Leonean and been working for IOM through this epidemic we are having in our country, I look at myself as one as a volunteer to see things go through. Mr. Kenneth, help out the doctor for us, please. Okay. So, based on what you've told me, with a fever and above three or more symptoms, for now, at this point, this is a suspect. So, please don't go any closer. We are going to call the the um, the cleaners to take care of this before we do anything, okay? So based on this, please, this is a suspect go, case. Don't go. All right. Um, what about my family? Nothing is going to run into family. Please. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. You are not going to die. This is not the end of the world, okay? Please, <laughs> if anyone goes to the hospital and wants to come back alive, please let my family That's not true. In fact, it increases your chances of survival. Once this has happened, they will go through a formal debrief with a WHO clinical trainer and CDC debriefing, um, and also command and control and communication debriefs. Our screening processes 
here at the airport are very much streamlined in adherence to international regulations like the WHO and all these kind of things in the containment of diseases. Yeah, yeah. No, we have to check. We have to reduce. What will advise? Hey, what? Go down there and. Oh, what, what, what are you saying? No, please go down there. No, 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 no. no. We would like to reduce. No, I, I want to travel. What are you saying? Yeah, we understand. I'm willing to work as a Sierra Leonean to, you know, to provide this kind of activities for the for the people of Sierra Leone. Calm down, please. No, I'm calm fine. Down. I'm calm fine. Down, I'm fine. Please. Are you want to travel? No, I know. No, I no, I want to travel. Calm down, please. Calm down, please. The basic structure that we have piloted here at Freetown International Airport is spreading throughout the region. And it has a clear, we have a clear vision of how this will uh, evolve to go beyond Ebola and to go beyond this emergency and to actually leave something behind. So leave a structure in place that is for more general communicable disease and so that when something happens again, um, Sierra Leone and the other West African countries do not start from zero. They are in a better position now than when we first entered the fray. Ooh. Stomach pain? Yeah, yeah, just stomach pain. Uh, please, hygienist, can you call please the hygienist to come and do Just, just one minute, just, just one minute. Call okay. The... okay, okay. Sit on the bed, please. Uh, okay. I want to thank CDC specifically for putting the technical expertise into all of this because all on our own, it was really going to be very, very tough for us. IUM came in in the middle of all of this. They came with their expertise, came with resources, see where the airport is at the moment. This is the plain fact. No single individual at that airport contacted Ebola. You know, all the stakeholders were on top of the situation because of the series of trainings and engagements we had. Everybody was mindful of the fact that we have to keep ourselves safe. The community, the paramount chief and everybody in that community was working helter skelter to ensure that the airport is safe. And so we want to thank all of us and kudos to all of us for this wonderful job.